Today we will talk about crypto market manipulator, market makers and how are they operating in the current market. Do they actually have a plan on taking all of your money and pumping your coins or are they blind little kittens? They don't know what will happen next. They are scared themselves shitless and they're taking, they're just taking free money from the market. The money that they can take easily out of the market. Very interesting piece of data, very interesting piece of statistics. You are not getting it anywhere on this platform and on other platforms as well. Make sure to watch this video till the end because understanding of the market structure is the key concept on actually making money in this market. The key concept. You need to understand what type of players are at play, how are they making money and then you just need to stay in the flow of the money. Without further ado, let's actually start. Yesterday I shared a bit of news that I actually got married. I shared some addresses, wallets for wedding gifts. I received zero wedding gifts. Thank you very much, my community. We're moving further. We're moving forward. We are taking over on this market. We are very strong. We are very rich and we are moving further. Thank you very much. Of course, I'm joking, guys. I did not have any expectations and it's just interesting type of situation. Like I was not expecting to have zero everywhere because 1,600 people actually viewed the video. I'm not buying views on the channel like a lot of people out there, right? I'm not buying views. I'm not buying likes. It's a very, very interesting piece of situation. But let's actually move on. So what we just had, we had a huge dump. Who told you about the dump one day before? Let's actually figure out. Let's take a look at liquidation maps. What we can see here is that we have a thick liquidity for loans at 58.5. It's very, very close to the current price level for BTC. That's why I would essentially expect us to sweep this liquidity at 58.5. We do have a thicker liquidity at 58 in terms of loans, right? And we don't have a lot of shorts opened. So basically what I was sharing is that I thought that they should be taking this liquidity. And this is a very, very important piece of information because this is how the market makers and manipulators, the manipulators on the market are behaving currently. It's very, very important to understand this part because what you are seeing currently, like they're not doing any type of moves. They're not planning to do anything. They just sit scared shitless like bitches. What are they doing? They just see these liquidation mumps. They sell a bit of BTC. They shorten the process. They, they, they take out this liquidity, right? It happens with events. Yeah, you might say it happened because they had this crazy amount of dollars of liquidations on the stock market, which is quite bullish. And we will, we will actually touch on this as well, right? But in general, they're just taking liquidity from people opening shorts or loans. This is the only thing that they are doing. And to me, to be honest, it's a sign of weakness because we definitely might have certain environments, speaking of crypto, that stock market is pumping and things like that, but they don't want to kind of pump crypto market themselves. They're waiting for some catalyst. They're waiting for some outside conditions to become better. But what they need to understand is that they need to gather. They need to gather the resources, the money. They need to pump this thing up in order to be able to take a bunch of profits over time. Obviously, they have time working on their end, but we definitely don't see something like this happening currently. They're just going with the flow in the market. They are scared shitless themselves. They don't know there is a bunch of uncertainty in the market and in their actions. The fact that through the last six months, with the stock market surging up, surging up, they did not come up with something better than just pretty much take liquidity from sideways price action, take liquidity from shorts and loans, take all the profits that take most of the profits, take a lot of the profits that people made back in the pump of February of March and April. They did not figure out anything better. Obviously, it might be a nicer picture of this longer term run, right? Because they definitely do need to kill all the positive momentum. And as mentioned in the previous video, we went through price capitulation a couple of times already, right? Well, the latest down to 49k it sent a lot of outs, a lot of memes to quite low numbers. What we're going through is essentially the last part and the most psychologically toughest part on the market. We're going through time capitulation at this stage. 
when they essentially just force you to sell your coins because of the time, because you're bored, because you're thinking, man, I lost so much already. If I would lose that, now I would probably just sell. And it's it's a very, very tough game because can they push it to 40k? Probably, yeah. What will happen to memes if we will touch 40k? Zero. Like, they will go another 90% from here. You will look back at that prices, you will think, man, I had like such, such a nice back when we were like at 57k BTC. Or I don't think it's going to happen. Like, only a black swan event, only like something very, very bad happened with the stock market. Maybe it will be happening a bit later in the process, like after the election. I don't think that it is actually going to happen, right? So we had a fake breakout of our triangle pattern right here, right? Fake. And essentially they dumped exactly to get liquidity levels. Exactly the ones that I was sharing with you yesterday. I was specifically saying that we might actually see the situation where they will dump to these levels to take this liquidity and automatically, essentially, people and automatically, when people are hitting the stop losses or liquidations on loans, the amount of funds that they borrowed essentially is getting sold to the market and drop the chart to 55.4.5 and then we are in sideways action since then. You can see that we have a liquidity from shorts at this stage so you might expect that maybe short term we will actually receive a pump to 58k back maybe to 61 but it's just all a giant piece of shittery and clown work that's happening in the marketplace currently but we have to endure we have to go through we have to be strong we have to hold if you have your assets just hold and best type of situation to obviously to be in currently is find your points to enter accumulate accumulate and accumulate i do think that a lot of us after some time would look back and think man i should have bought same as me essentially with fwalk i i was looking at fwalk at 10 million dollars just recently and it did an 8x since that time so i think i shared it in my private discord 20 million dollars and on this youtube at around 30 to 40 million dollars right so a very very important thing to understand it seems that market makers and manipulators like it's not something that i feel it's something that i see from the actions it's a very very important point that you actually need to base your analysis on as well for the last a lot of months like probably first two to three months it was like a nice correction everything is all right right but then despite the actions despite all the action that was happening in the stock market stock market was going up and going higher they did not decide to push the market further they did not decide to actually do that, probably because they screwed up the whole structure of the altcoin market and a bunch of people, they just bought a bunch of altcoins and there was still not enough liquidity to actually push me market. Because I think even in the tops, me market was like what, 5 to 7% of all of the crypto market, which definitely shows us that most participants, most market participants, they're still very much interested in buying altcoins. They want to buy fundamental stuff, they want to be able to base the money on something that they think is real on some maybe like revenue numbers things like that doesn't happen often in crypto all of them are meme coins bitcoin is the largest of them and the question you might want to ask that you need to ask as well is we have to analyze why we were actually going up back in end of fall and winter and start of spring of um, this year right and the main reason for that was etf is that Actually, in order to go up, we need a very, very strong narrative because like these inflows of ETF, who gives a shit in the first place? It just was a psyop to lure you into this market. It just a psyop in the first place. No one gives a shit about this ETF. Bitcoin, like guys that hold or bought Bitcoin, like they probably were buying many, many years ago. Not a lot of market participants were actually buying BTC at 16K. I can definitely tell you that, right? It's funny that there is a video on YouTube that's published when BTC was at exact bottom, like 16K, that got millions of views. Video is saying that crypto is a scam. And from this video, the market is just straight up, which is a very, very funny situation. There are even some comments under this video is that, like, imagine how many people eventually sold and capitulated because of your video. It's very funny. It's, it's like funny how this thing, how sentiment wise, this thing actually work. But we need to come back. We need to understand why I'm showing you this and, and why I am essentially sharing this information is that we need a narrative in order for market to essentially pump. 
two narratives that we see currently is the rate cuts, right? And elections. These are the two narratives that we see at this stage. However, the question that some market participants already start to ask, we are already in September. I would say that at this stage, the pump is heavily delayed because markets are generally front looking and we're not pumping. We are not even moving higher two months before the election. This is a very, very interesting and important question that I think we all should ask ourselves because this is the narrative that we all expect to pump on. We need the narrative. We had the ETF. Last cycle, we had gigs on leverage, right? And a bunch of money printing from crypto and COVID. And I think like this money printing, it was also narrative because you will give a person like 1K, would they put it in crypto? Mm. I, I would say it mostly was a narrative in a way as well. The same way this that ETF is essentially is a narrative as well. And we have rate cuts, right? And we have the election. These are two main narratives. Rate cuts are on 17, 18th of September, pretty much two weeks from now, right? And the charts, they're not showing it showing anything right elections are in two months already so you want to have invalidations for the theses and sentiments and narratives that you think that the market will probably pump according to right and this situation is a very, very interesting one you might say that like this is a final flash out this is a final peak of boredom and it definitely feels like bottom trust between market participants is at the bottom a lot of assets are kind of at the bottom or at the bottom at this stage the sentiment is at the bottom 100 percent it's not just because i was saying these things many many times it's not just the fad fad is not the worst thing fad means that people have attention on you on your talking on something that's happening fad is actually a good thing worst thing is no one giving a shit and this is something we're 100 percent experiencing in the marketplace currently 100 percent we are experiencing it at this stage, which essentially following the history usually was signalizing the bottom. Speaking of transactions that we see on Solana, we, are, we essentially have like a range of things that might actually signalize the bottom. Like if you would pull up the chart of performance of S&P 500 to Ethereum, it's just crazy. It's like just at the bottom. It's not doing anything. It's just going sideways, like downward sideways price price action. It's not doing anything at this stage. What's also interesting is that we have a bunch of airdrops. We have a range of projects actually launching on September. Imagine in September, like this month, imagine how bearish it would actually be if all these projects, they will just airdrop into nothing. They will just airdrop into a dead, dead market, right? And people will, will just sell. No reason to hold because the sentiment is bad. From other point of view, it's quite interesting. It's quite a nice situation for the manipulator because what you do as a manipulator in this type of situation, you buy out the supply at the bottom, the cheap one, and with most of the supply, you can just push the rocket very, very high because most people sold and there is not a lot of holders with supply out there. This is actually something that you want to have with these airdrops. If you want to manipulate the price of the token, if you want to pump the price of the token, you do the airdrop, you launch the bad market conditions, you buy out the supply when the sentiment is bad, everyone is bearish, and then you pump the whole thing because you have all the supply, right? This is just another thought on, on the outcome, on the scenario that we might be seeing during the situation. However, if we won't be receiving any type of reaction in September, we would already be in a very, very interesting situation because if at the start of October the market is the same as currently, you might say that like we're not front running much or it's just a giant manipulation price action that I'm I'm speaking of starting uh, from May. At the same time, speaking of the times where we started to pump from the news about the ETF, right? October, we started to pump in October and in January, we already had our news about the ETF. So pretty much was a couple of months as well. So you might say the crypto market is front running stuff, but not as much. These are my thoughts currently in terms of crypto. We have to circle back to stocks because something very, very interesting happened today. We have to focus on what actually happened today. And I would say why this might actually be bullish as well. What I think happened in stocks because we had like crazy liquidation event. What I think happened is that we had, we just had a late loans liquidation event, right? 
So what, what happened? We had this drop. A bunch of people were just scared pussies during this drop. They sold into this drop, right? A bunch of guys that know the market, they essentially decided to take some loans, right? And during this sideways price action, they probably saw certain weakness into the market, right? And they probably saw some people entering leverage loans here as well, because, wow, well, we probably rec we reclaim this, this level, so it's probably safer right now. So I would actually like, we're trading sideways here for quite some time. So we probably consolidated above this level already. So I probably will be taking some loans because we're probably going higher from here. Wrong, right? So what happened, I think? We had this liquidation of late loans right here. It happened pretty much yesterday, right? giant amount of money like i believe the amount of money that is equal to one third of the whole crypto market capitalization which definitely shows how early we are as well and right now we're kind of trading at the bottom of this range at the resistance you see that like i'm drawing these things just from my hand but they 100 they make sense on this chart and from my point of view it's actually quite bullish that they're trying to liquidate late loans because Partially, this is the fuel that they need to move higher. And at the same time, they don't want to have randoms in the rocket. What they want randoms to do. They want randoms to sell right here at the peak flat of the stock market. And they want randoms that entered leverage loans right here. And, and you have to understand why people are entering late leverage loans right here. It's because they sold here. They were not buying back. They thought, oh, 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 like we're probably going going down, like nothing is happening, right? We're probably going down. And here they're thinking, man, I'm already too late. Like I lost to this 8% move. And like 8% move on the stock market, they're waiting for this move for years. For years, you have to understand this, right? And this is the reason why they're entering the leverage loans right here, right? And instantly, they get dumped and probably like a bunch of people they were actually trying to acquire one position through this sideways range instantly they get dumped below this range at the two recent tops some people might say that yeah we see like double tops on the stock market and things like that i think they still should push this thing i still think that like it's it's essentially the best type of scenario the best type of way to give money to default people in america to make sure that they will vote the current party, right, the Democrats, to essentially give them the votes. They're pretty much buying the votes through the stock market. It's a very, very interesting type of manipulative instrument, manipulative tool. Like, you don't want to give money straight away, but if you give the money th through the stock market, it's nice. And interesting thing about the stock market is how it works is that essentially the same as crypto is that at the peak, you will have the largest amount of people interested, right? And at the peak, like everyone will just be investing in the stock market, throwing the money, like being very, very bullish, euphoric. And you will take most of the money of these people who would be investing in the top. They also would be like diamond heading and, and, and doing all these things. So it's a very, very interesting type of like diabolic tool in a way, essentially for rich to get richer and to take savings, life savings from people who don't have a lot gm i reckon this is the last dump before bearish chop and we are about to put in a local bottom soon filling up my old bags as i write this and would start to look for leverage loans as well as i've seen actually it might be an interesting uh, scenario for leverage loans currently obviously the best type of scenario was the dump right 55k currently might be interesting as well because on a lot of alts a lot of memes especially we are quite close to the levels of the dump of 49k i think you, you always need to bear this in mind on a bunch of outs and a bunch of memes we're quite close to the levels of when btc was 49k very very important as i've said earlier i think 49k was the bottom and i'm playing accordingly it's actually a very, very nice thing to have like a um, narrative that you're trading and investing according to you you have a clear it's not it's not called a narrative it's called a thesis right you have a clear thesis you have a clear invalidation and you just navigate and move in the market according to your thesis right you might not agree with me and that's perfectly fine everyone is entitled to their own opinion irrespective of being bearish or bullish still expecting new highs in q4 interesting like i'm always trying to outthink the market and thinking that like you know like it's too easy to pump in q4 maybe they will not be doing that because like everyone is speaking about that so it's too easy maybe it's true for crypto but with stocks like they cannot move these 
large of a machine in expected ways, like too often. It would be too manipulated and too easy to spot. Like at the same time, I think like there is a very, very small amount of companies and people actually hold the largest amount of stocks out there. State of the crypto market, something I wanted to share. This is the picture that essentially going into a bunch of Twitter channels, Twitter accounts, a bunch of Telegram channels as well. Bitcoin, the founder is missing. Ethereum, the founder is out chasing girls while the team is selling Ethereum. BNB, the founder is in prison. Solana, market maker is in prison. And soon the second market maker is going to be in prison too. XRP, the team is facing a lot of lawsuits. Dogecoin, the founder does not hold any. Yeah, he sold everything. I think he bought on the Civic or something, right? Tron, the founder is playing monkey. Yeah, very, very interesting situation in a range of these projects, but it just gives the option for new projects to emerge because the industry is not going anywhere and the technology is quite interesting as well. Like you cannot agree with that. You, you definitely need to agree with this, that the technology is, is quite interesting by itself and the things it allows. We have governments running on blockchain at this stage. It's a very, very interesting piece of technology. Fantastic piece of technology, right? And I think something that this screenshot is trying to do is that it's trying to persuade you that uh, there might be no parties interested in pumping these assets moving further, right? Solana, they pumped it very, very nicely already. If we will have a further cool off, I do think that they might have like this like last wave five, right? BNB, CZ is going out of jail quite soon. Ethereum, too much layer twos. Too much VC scams of this cycle. I don't think that they will allow for this money to just like evaporate. I don't think that's happening. I think that L2 season is coming 100%. BTC, BTC ETF, they sold it to the public. They sold it to their investors. They cannot turn it back. XRP don't know much of it. Probably should put XRP in the title of this video. I will probably get 20,000 views instead of 2K, right? Dogecoin, the founder does not hold any doesn't matter musk bought most of the supply and started to pump this thing and manipulate this thing tron the founder is playing monkey the founder is i i saw a very very interesting thing that on kusama blockchain which is a test net uh, for kind of like a test net for polkadot i think they appealed something that they want to create kusama the dot fun and I, I saw a tweet of a guy showing that finally blockchains are reaching for product market fit it's very, very funny. So even blockchains like this, they want this product market feel. They want liquidity to come into the ecosystems. And what are they doing in order to essentially make this happen? They are turning their blockchains into casinos, right? But like the support that Tron received, I doubt that there are a lot of chains that can actually receive this type of support, right? Because it was like from the founder, uh, this chain, the token is, is performing quite nicely through the whole cycle as well. So it's definitely something that you won't find with a range of blockchains out there. The direct support of the founder on the blockchain with a bunch of liquidity. The only issue that is it was actually done in the uh, decline in market conditions, right? And it's, it's a huge issue, if you would ask me, right? Because you want to find, you want to launch things in um, favorable market conditions. At the same time, in the favorable market conditions, there are a bunch of things that are pumping and it would be very, very hard to focus attention on something. That's why the launch of base was pretty interesting because not the launch of base, but base like base meme season back in uh, March and April of this year was quite interesting because we had issues with transactions on Solana and like the push from Solana to base was very, very interesting attention wise. It was like from people that understood the market attention and differences in terms of the focus and navigation on the market very, very well. In the midst of it so over, I found there was within me an invisible will be so back. Um, a chart I wanted to share, a very interesting one. So it's essentially a comparison of the current price of injective. Wow, that's very, very interesting. With Ethereum from 2019, right? But I won't focus on the fact that it's injective. I would just say that um, most of the charts in crypto, like BTC chart is quite similar to this current chart as well. Probably BTC chart did not drop as much, but in terms of the altcoins, they all look quite similar. And what is presented to us is this Ethereum chart from 2019, which is a very, very interesting one, exactly before the parabolic run. And we are at the end of this sideways price action. And timing wise, it's very, very interesting because timing wise is quite interesting. And imagine what would happen if you would start this parabolic move up 
from the bottoms <laughs> and then they will have this giant drop they will wipe out all the leverage like right here at this stage it would be very very similar to the COVID situation right right here people would just stop caring they will just be exhausted like heavily it's like this final pump and dump into the abyss right and right after it would be a parabolic run and what's interesting is that during this parabolic run they would be selling right here and here they would probably get persuaded that oh i did a very very nice thing i actually sold right only to see the positions move higher and move up and if you remember that we almost touched five thousand dollars per ethereum back in that cycle right pretty much from hard bucks right here and right here it was almost 80 bucks crazy numbers crazy price action more than 1 trillion was wiped out from the stock market yesterday and people are asking their 2 million market cap shitcoin devs why the price is down to 500k market cap interesting situation because like if you are sitting in 2 million market cap like meme coin why are you selling it because 1 trillion dollars was just liquidated in stocks like it does not make sense in the first place you're just too small of a fish to get influenced by this tsunami you almost like this small insectoid that was able to survive during the wipeout of dinosaurs because they were large they needed like a lot of air they needed a lot of food you're just small you don't care you can survive a nuclear launch right nothing will happen with you but as mentioned i do see this situation is quite bullish because it's interesting that in stock market things are happening like they take more time to happen but they're quite similar to things that are happening in crypto crypto is just like faster and way more manipulative in a way right we obviously have some actors like nancy pelosi and others and everyone is just saying like stuff oh like how can this be happened but for some reason no one can actually do something right as mentioned i do think that this is just a wipe out of late long leverage which is quite bullish which, which which gives me a sign that they are working on the chart they are working on the market they are taking this late loan liquidity from the market maybe to pump further maybe to end the party right but at the same time we still do have election would they just drop stock market two months before the election i doubt that maybe closer to the election but well i'm expecting this pump this last pump right then i'm expecting a couple months of sideways or downward price action and then finally entrance into a real nice bull run at the same time i'll probably not be playing this out with trying to like sell and buy back lower and things like that because no it's just too, too risky in a way if i wanted to do that i should have done that sooner and earlier in the process well this is the overview that i have on the current market situation at this stage i don't know like i cannot get this feeling away from me like we're definitely bottoming a hundred percent we're bottom if you had cash planned on the side if you wanted to enter if you were selling to buy back lower i think this is the time to enter with a nice chunk of money we just had this loan leverage wipe out we don't have one more time let me show you one more time we don't have a lot of leverage loan opened right now we don't have it we have very very low amounts right here which is usually a nice sign because what it means for the market makers and manipulators is that they won't allow for a bunch of people to make money if they will push the char chart higher right at the same time they will just push to the first major liquidation line for the shirts right and they will just automatically start to close one after another and that's again free money for them obviously with some risks right because you need to sell in high amounts at this stage and in this case you need to buy with high amounts in order to push this chart higher but this is the situation currently we definitely do not have a lot of loans opened here and funding the only issue that i have is that funding currently is not that negative like it was positive on the dump right which means that people were longing 100 percent you can see this yellow line there was a bunch of loans opened however currently it's not like that negative it's it's a bit negative yeah it's almost like everyone just stopped giving a fuck so this is this is the current state of the market hold your coins accumulate i think it's all going to be all right i think we are going higher eventually 100 percent it's just that that the assets that you're holding might not go up and some other assets 
might go up instead. All right. This is the main issue that you might have. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.